Actually, H&H &H was started in 1962. Started on Main Street in Middlefield. A little country store that uh, <clears throat> at that time uh, I was starting a family and it was pretty difficult to know. It was a big decision. And uh, my brother-in-law and I decided, well, we were going to take that step and we went into business and uh, started in a little one room building that uh, had a full basement, but we did all the plumbing in the basement, but the upstairs retail area was very small and we were there for a year and a half to two years and then we moved on to a larger larger store and a shopping center and uh, spent several years there and uh, then we proceeded in 1992, built this facility here. This gentleman here, that happens to be my son. He's been a right-hand man for many, many years. It was much easier to retire in 96 when he was here to take over. One of the biggest parts of our store being out in our rural areas, what we call our hardware section, you know, and the, the nuts and the bolts and the nails and all the type of fasteners, that's always been good because a lot of the farmers were always mending machinery and things around the farm and some of the kids that were, you know, kids were, were kids when I was growing up, you know, in here. Now they've got families and they come in here for the fix it up type things. Probably since I was eight, I'm down on Friday nights after, after school. Worked till nine. Do you have the car out there? I worked here since I was six. <laughs> Swept or helped customers when I was young too. And at the end of the day, Grandpa and Dad would give us their pocket change. Spent a lot of late nights in here too, especially when we were building it. I generally arrive here about 7.15 in the morning and I uh, unlock the door. I come in and turn the lights on and, and I get the the day money for each drawer in the registers and I open up the registers and usually at that time Tom is here and Tom goes ahead and kind of tidies up the front of the store and sets out the American flag and, and the benches for our customers to sit on and a lot of times the Amish fellas on their way to work will stop here for things that they need for their day's projects and they'll come up and get plumbing or electrical supplies or a lot of times sporting goods we have a, a busy sporting goods division. 